It's a beautiful day out in Villahermosa, taking beings for a walk at the beginning of the day. Good morning, everybody. This is the neighborhood I'm staying in. The Airbnb is the lavender house there. There's my Jeep. And so I got the shorts back on because it's getting a little warmer. It's definitely not cold at night anymore. It's warmed up. It's not even warm. It's the humidity. It's the humidity. It's not the heat. It's only like the highs in the 80s. And, uh, but it's the humidity. It's like 90% humidity. So it's a little bit warmer. It's not too hot yet. I can only imagine what it's like during the summer. It's got to be brutal. Uh, but nice little neighborhood. Calm. Tranquil. Uh, just normal little Mexican middle class neighborhood. Perfect. One of the reasons I love staying in Airbnbs. I'm not getting paid by Airbnb. I wish I was to say that. But just a really cool place to stay in for a couple nights on my way to Merida. So the plan for today is we're going to go to an outdoor museum, which is perfect during times of COVID. I think that all the indoor museums are closed anyways, and they don't make for great YouTube videos. Maybe they would. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's an outdoor museum about the Olmecs, and they have like really cool stuff from Olmec culture. And I guess this region was a center of Olmec culture. I don't know. I'll go find out. So let's go see it together. Okay, the museum was closed. Kind of bummed about it. Because when I walked up, well, one, it looked really cool, but then I walked up and they had monkeys back there. <laughs> I could see the monkeys from the side. I had no idea. I don't know if the monkeys are from this part of the world or if they're like monkeys down here. I know there are in Central America, but I don't know if they come this far north. That would be cool to find out. But I'm walking around this little park here. It's really pretty, as you can see. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the center. I wanted to go to the center anyway, take a look at the Centro Historico de Villahermosa and see what it's like down there. Okay, so you know Villahermosa doesn't get a lot of tourists because they will just look at you. And it's not like, it's not like a hostile look, but it's just a looking at you. And uh, so I was walking back to by that uh, La Venta mu Museum, the guy was just looking at me. And I said, ¿Quieres tomar una foto? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I can be kind of an asshole sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so I was talking with the police officers, traffic cops. They sent me around to a few different places. It didn't look that interesting, to be honest, uh, about filming it at least. But I, by what I looked at on the internet, it looked like there was kind of a historic center in Villahermosa. At least it's an older city. That's what I looked up. If it's an older city, it should have a historic center. And it's from like the 1500s. But I haven't really found too much right now. So I came down to the Malecon. I went to the different places that the traffic cops told me to go. Parque Juarez, which was just kind of a park. It really wasn't that interesting. Uh, but I came down to the Malecon, this boardwalk, I guess you could call it. That would be the translation, at least in English. Right by the river. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not too warm, but it's humid, which makes it kind of warm. 
Um, but I wanted to tell you guys a quick story. So yesterday I got really, really lost. I uh, didn't know where I was. And thank you to the people from Villa Hermosa to, uh, for helping me out, getting me back on track. So what happened was I was, that's kind of an interesting building. So I got into the Airbnb yesterday and I wanted to go for a run. And so usually I run, well, I'll run two days and then take a day off. So I got into the Airbnb, it was my day to run. I go out to run, I had been there for half an hour, I knew nothing of the city. And I never take my phone when I run, of course. You know, my phone has all the maps on it. So I just put the key in the pocket, head out to run. There was like a circuito deportivo, kind of like a little running track or like a sports track. And I was gonna kind of try to find the streets up to the sports track, run around the sports track, and run back to the Airbnb. Simple enough, right? But no, it wasn't simple. I ended up getting up to the Circuito Deportivo, run, ran around there for a little bit. But when I was coming back, when I was finishing my run, I totally overshot. And so I ended up completely lost. Just no idea where I was. I ended up, I was actually pretty far from where I needed to be. But all was well. I knew I could just, if I just asked somebody for their map, if I could just see a map, I'd uh, recognize where I was. So I went into a store, asked around, Por favor, ayúdame, ayúdame, necesito ver un mapa, por favor. <laughs> something to that effect, something similar to that effect. Lágrimas saliendo de mis ojos. <laughs> something similar. No, it went too far off. I might be giving a little bit uh, dramatic effect, but it was pretty close. <laughs> Uh, the lovely people, they helped me, they showed me the map. I could uh, ubicate, I could locate where I was and uh, got back to the Airbnb pretty pretty easy, easily, safe and sound. With a renewed faith, faith and confianza in la hermosa gente de Villahermosa. Look at that beautiful building. Okay, this might be more of what I was looking for. Main square maybe? Some pretty cool stuff around it. I got the Supreme Court, I guess, of the state, maybe. It's a pretty building, another pretty building. Got a church off in the distance. Oh, but I want to say a big thank you to a new patron at patreon.com. Uh, and that also reminds me, I need to pull up his name. First name, Moist. I don't know who it is, uh, but first name was Moist. So thank you, Moist. I can remember that. Thank you so much for your contribution. That also reminds me, I'm not going to put any ads on the videos for a while. And basically the reason for that is that I've had a lot of problems with the monetization. I originally monetized it and used my address in Mexico, opened up a bank account, went through the whole pr process. It was uh, not fun. But uh, I ended up switching back to the United States and because of that, it's been really difficult. YouTube doesn't make it the easiest, unfortunately, for travel vloggers, at least when, or any vloggers, when they're wanting to change country. So it's been kind of difficult, unfortunately. And so right now, basically, the moral, the moral of the story, the point of the story, is that uh, I'm not gonna monetize the videos because basically it's, it's, it's pointless. And why monetize if I'm not receiving money into the account? And, um, I hope to get it back, so I hope to put the ads back on the videos, which y'all all love. But this is the point where I ask you, if you can, uh, can you contribute a few bucks a month? Five, five bucks, 10 bucks, $20. What can you contribute? Can you contribute uh, some, uh, few, some money, so a few dollars a month to Patreon? And I will do ad-free videos, at least for right now. Okay, so just a couple quick facts about Villa Hermosa. It is, has a population of about 400,000 people. It's the largest city in Tabasco. And what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm gonna put a map, maybe I did it just before, of the, where I am in Mexico. And it's also, Villa Hermosa is the capital of the state of Tabasco. Okay, this part of the video is just for Billy. So Billy wanted to see some piñatas. 
Hello. <laughs> and uh, I asked his permission if I could record. So if there's something you want to see in the videos, put it in the comments. And if it's, there it is, Billy. I found your, your piñata just for you. There are lots of different piñata, piñatas. <clears throat> but if there's something you want to see, put it in the comments and I'll take it into consideration. If it's easy, I'll definitely, definitely uh, try to make a point to film it for you guys. And it looks like he makes some of the, a lot of the piñatas here. So he's, es el pega, pegamento? Es el pegamento? Sí, pegamento. Y haces las piñatas aquí. Sí. Chido. Sí, chido. Gracias. Parents like you too. Have a good day. <laughs> All right. So that's all for Via Hermosa. Tomorrow I will be in Campeche for three nights. And see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.